hi guys welcome back to another market breakdown video if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so on today's video i'm gonna start with the dxy usdzr gold eurocad and kjpy nes 100 gbp aud uh the requested pairs in my community's post so let's start with uh the dxy on the weekly chat so we have this high point here this high point around this area here and then we have this high also then we have the lowest low at all around this point here and then what i'll do is that i'll just draw the overall market structure of which is just an ascending channel from here to the top of the structure just like this just like this then what i'll do is that i'll just try and cater for the current market structure of which it's here just to make sure that everything is still intact and then let me make sure that i'm catering for the touches and then what i'll do that what i'll do is that i'll just draw like the patterns that i see that are obvious to me just to create like a picture for where the market is going so as you can see here we had like an impulse corrective move then we have an impulse to the downside same at the top of the structure we have a corrective move at the top of the structure just like this then now we are at this overall 90 percent road of which it's here so looking at the daily chart you'll see that we are moving in a form of a descending channel around this area here so this means like we can have like a larger flag just because we are in that red zone so we can create like a larger flag whereby we create a double top around this point then we continue selling or another scenario that i have is that we can just create a clear push to the downside breaking this low and then we can have like a continuation flag on the lower time frame just to continue to push to the downside so currently i'm just waiting to see how will the market react when we get like that overall market uh mass psychology activation around this point are we going to push to the upside then create the larger flag that i was talking about maybe around this point then we sell off or we clearly break the slow here and then we create a continuation pattern to push to the downside so that's what i'll be waiting for on the dxy and then let me just switch to the four hour and the hour chart just to see if i'm missing anything out so as you can see here we haven't created like that mass psychology activation it has to be created like in this point here whereby we can have like a slow movement whereby it's creating a pattern around this point here and then on that pattern that is when we can uh, initially decide if we are going to push to the upside create the larger flag before we sell off just because after we create like that larger flag we can create like a double top around this point here then we look for those selling opportunities from there or clear the lows as i said around this point we clear the lows we create the larger flag then we sell off from there so that is it for the dxy and then i'll keep you updated each and every time uh, on what's happening on these so looking at usdzr let me start on the weekly fresh then on the weekly we have this high point and then we have this low point here whereby the mass psychology activation has been already created and then in a form of a corrective move around here and then it get pushed down so now we are in this corrective price action here whereby we are going to analyze each and everything so on the lows we have the slow here and then let me just look at the overall market structure and see if uh see what i'm working with so we have this type of price action whereby i'm just going to cater for the most touches whereby this can be like a an inflection point and then let me just do this then on the lows we have this price action so this is what we have on the with this pair and then now we are in this area here whereby we have created that much psychology activation 
around this point here then we look for those cells up until this area here or this overall larger 90 percent rule of this overall pattern here so let's switch to a daily chart and continue analyzing so on the daily we have this ascending channel in this point like this and then i'll put like the overall 90 percent of this pattern just to make sure that i'm in the right side and then we have a pattern around this point here also so we have like a pattern within a pattern in this scenario and then let me just do this and then i'll just initially remove this one and then put it here and then let's switch to a four hour chart and just check for momentum if we have momentum so as you can see here we are in this corrective move here we are in this corrective price action just because the dxy hasn't given us like any any clear direction that we can uh, use or correlate with the other pairs so at the moment we can just wait for the dxy to give us like a clear direction then we can take trades from there and then what i'll do is that i'll try and focus like on the current market structure here of which we have this type of price action and then we'll put a ray line at the top just to uh, give me like that uh, override whereby if we get like this double top then we can look for those selling opportunities and then i think i'll just use like this area here i think i'll just use this area. i think it's okay like this and then let me just push it out and then another scenario that i can have on this one is that we can create a third touch within there one two three then we look for those cells from there at the top of the structure and then as you can see here we are in this corrective price action whereby i'll just wait for the dxy to confirm everything then we look for our entry and then on gold let's check gold So on gold, I'll start on the weekly also. So on the weekly, we have this high here, whereby we have like in a week. And then whenever you see a week, like in the markets, just know that the price action will just come and fill that week before selling off or buying, whatever the case may be. But just know that each and every time we have a week, the market tends to feel like that week. And then we have this low point then we have this one here also so on the daily let's check the daily chart so on the daily we have this as an area of importance and then now we are just correcting to the upside up until this area here then we look for those selling opportunities at the top of the structure and then I think we can have like a entry during the week, an entry during the week on gold. And as you can see, the price action is very corrective. I'll just in this. So as you can see here, we have a clear corrective movement to the outside.
certain structure around this point and then we came back with another ascending channel whereby we look for those selling opportunities so that's my thought process on this one then we can put like the overall 90 percent then on the four hour that is where i did like uh the pattern separation and let me just do this just to make sure that i'm catering for all the touches just like this and then i'll just put the pattern like this just because i think it's way too informative when you're putting it like this and then we have a ascending channel a pattern within a pattern so i'm just going to be focusing on this area here and we created a larger pattern around this point then we push to the downside so it's an impulse corrective move impulse and the larger corrective move around this point here so let me just cater for this area and then another thing that you'll see is that we have an override here double top override first touch second touch and then we push to the downside so on the hour chart that's where i'll be expecting uh, to look for entries so on the hour chart i think we had like a missed entry around this point here let me just do this so around this point here whereby on the lower time frame we'll see that this is an impulse down corrective move then we sell off so let me just show you on the 15 minute so on the 15 minute that is where you get to see uh, what i'm talking about very clear so this is the push down corrective move then we sell off whereby the entry was pretty easy on the higher time frame just because you see it like you see it as a tight flag at the top of the structure just like this and then let's say you take an entry at the lows the stop loss is just above and then you know that you have this as your cushion double top area and then you look for those selling opportunities up until the 90 percent and then we know that we are targeting like the larger 90 percent but at, in this stage you can be targeting 11 percent a 1 to 11 and then the overall target would be at the lows of which it's around here for about 41 percent and then even though you get tagged out of the straight here you can get like another entry whereby let's say maybe you get like a clear push down and then another tight flag around here of which it's a valid trade you can take like that entry now let me just remove this one here and then now we are focusing on the current market structure what will i do in this uh, scenario here so we had like a pattern here in the form of a reasoning channel on the lower time frame and then this signals that we can have like a larger flag just because we are in the amber zone so we can have price action moving in the sub of fashion and you have a larger flag whereby you can have like a one two three then this is the middle section then you look for those selling opportunities then all in all you have a larger pattern coming into play then you look for yourself at the top of the structure your stop loss is just above and you're targeting the lows just like this so that is it for and yeah. then cat jpy let's do the cat jpy on the weekly chart also so on cat jpy we have this high point here whereby it was a mass psychology activation as you can see here and we have this high here also and then the highest high point was this one here and then you can just use like this as our low point since we have a double bottom within that so we can just use that as our low point and then on the daily chart let's check the daily and then i'll remove a few lines just because we had this mass psychology activation and then we had another one that confirmed the move to the downside and that the reason why it confirmed the move is that we have this double bottom here and then before for before i forget guys cat jpy ns100 and gbpaud are all the pairs that were requested in the community post that i made before making like this video here so this is the double top that confirmed the overall push to the downside and i think i shared like a video analyzing like this pair 
previously you can check in the videos that i posted previously so this is the ascending channel that we have around here it's not nice but it works and then we have the overall 90 percent here and then i'll just check the four hour just to make sure that we are in a smooth price action so on the four hour that is where everything is messy so let me just make sure that i'm catering for all the patterns just to understand everything so we have this pattern on its own pattern separating will help you to, uh, to just understand like the price action and let me just remove this one here and then we have a pattern around this point here whereby it's an ascending channel also and then we have this over right here at the top of the structure whereby the market pushed down then came back then pushed to the downside so we have this pattern on its own also and we have this yeah whereby you can be expecting the third touch around here first touch second touch the touch for you to sell off and then that did not happen then we have a larger pattern around this point yeah i'm just creating like a case of evidence just to make sure that i'm in the right track so we have this one here this pattern and then let's switch to a our chart but the overall move is to the downside as you can see here we haven't completed the overall 90 percent and then another thing that confirms that is that we are creating a larger flag around here so let's switch to an hour chart so let me just do this so on the hour chart we had like a few entries let me just do this and then we have this area here this area around this point here in the form of an entry a tight flag then we had another one here of which i wouldn't be taking like this one if i were you this one is slightly more advanced of which the stop loss is pretty high and then we had this pattern on its own around this point whereby this was a sideways movement i wouldn't recommend someone being in this type of trade whereby this was a larger sideways move and then now we are focusing on this area here whereby we are creating a larger flank so this is the area where we are currently focusing on this is the area and then my thought process on this one is that we can have a running channel and then a running channel is this type of pattern whereby you get like a descending channel and then within that descending channel you have an ascending channel so this is the price action and then instead of buying just because you have a descending channel instead of buying that is when this uh, running channel that i'm talking about will be the catalyst for everything whereby you have the first touch second touch and then you have those selling opportunities from there up until like the 90 percent rule like i said so let me just do this So everything is in line. So now let me just do the forecasting. So the forecasting is simple. You can just look for this as your second entry and then your first entry. It's at the top of the structure, waiting for that evening star or that override. And then you know that you're targeting the overall third touch about seven percent and then the overall move is about 19 percent if you take the risk entry and then you manage the trade very well okay so let's look at nasdaq so on nasdaq i'm going to start on the weekly also then we have this area here whereby it was a mass psychology activation 
around this point and then we have this high point here and then moving to a daily chart we'll get to see each and everything nicely and then we have uh, multiple touches around here whereby you have a triple bottom and then it's a very strong confirmation and then we have a descending channel around this point here just like this this is the overall descending channel whereby it has been broken very impulsively as you can see here you get to see that on the lower time frame but as you can see here we can be looking for those buys up until like this point there let me just do this and then another scenario that i'll do is that we can have like a double top around this area here whereby we can get like selling opportunities but so far uh my bias is stuck on, on looking for buying opportunities up until the 90 percent so on the four hour that is where i'll be trying to just pattern separate each and everything i can't be having like a larger flag like this so what i'll do is that i'll just drain this back a bit and then just try and focus like on this current market structure here so this is a pattern on its own launcher like this pattern on its own and then we had like some type of a decent channel around this point whereby it was an actual decent channel but it worked out very nicely and then we are at the 90 percent of the decent channel just put another ray line here just to cater for that right shoulder pattern and then what i know is that the market will tend to create like a more corrective move just to push to the downside and then break the lows then we look for those buying opportunities but you have your left shoulder your head and your right shoulder then we look for those buying opportunities from there 
then let me just draw the overall structures so this is what we currently have at the moment and then on the let me just remove this one here and this one here and then on the four hour this is the price action that we have and then as i said guys uh the market will tend to create a more evolved head and shoulders whereby you get the right shoulder piercing a little bit to the downside before pushing to the upside then let's check the hour chart so on the hour we don't have like any any confirmation that we can be looking for buying opportunities as of yet so uh the scenario that i'm stuck with is still the same it's the one that I was talking about. Then I'll just create a line around here just to illustrate that we are going to look for buys soon enough. So what I'll wait for is a push down or initially we can look for this type of price action here. We can have this as an override. Then we have a corrective push to the downside create a double bottom in a form of a descending channel then we look for those buys from there so that is it for today's market breakdown hope you enjoyed uh this market breakdown and then you can share like the important tips that you took in this video in the comment section and then just check the links in the description below and then i'll see you on another video